Hockey Heroes Clash of the Titans featuring Steve Yazerman and Joe Sackick. Steve Yazerman and Joe Sackick are both Hall of Famers and legends for their respective franchises and have gone on to have success in the front office after their playing days were over. Steve Yazerman spent his entire 22 season NHL career with the Detroit Red Wings, serving as captain for 19 seasons, making him one of the longest serving captains in NHL history. Joe Sackick spent his entire career career with the Quebec Nordiques slash Colorado Avalanche franchise and served as captain for over a decade. Both players led their teams to multiple Stanley Cups and were part of the heated Red Wings Avalanche rivalry in the late 90s to early 2000s. Steve Yeiserman entered the NHL first when he was drafted 4th overall in the 1983 NHL Draft and went on to finish 2nd in the color voting in the 1983-84 season with 39 goals and 87 points. Following the departure of Red Wings captain Danny Gare during the 1985-86 season, Yeiserman was named captain, making him the youngest captain in the team's history. The 1987-88 season would be Steve Yeiserman's breakout season as he would go on to score 50 goals, 52 assists, and 102 points in 64 games. During the 1988-89 season, Geiserman recorded 155 points with 65 goals and 90 assists, finishing third in regular season scoring behind only Mario Lemieux and Wade Gretzky. That season, he won the Lester B. Pearson Award, the MVP as voted by the NHLPA, and was a finalist for the Hart Memorial Trophy, the MVP as voted by the NHL writers. Joe Sackick was drafted 5th overall by the Quebec Nordiques in the 1987 NHL Draft and went on to have a solid rookie season, tallying 62 points in 70 games. He took a gigantic leap in his second season after switching from number 88 to his familiar number 19, scoring 102 points despite being on a last place team. Starting with the 1992-93 season, Sackick became the sole captain of the franchise and under his leadership, the Nordiques made the playoffs for the first time in six seasons. That same season, the Nordiques set a franchise record for wins and points in the process. The record was since broken by the 2000-2001 Colorado Avalanche. That same season, Sackick reached the 100-point plateau for the third time in five seasons by scoring 48 goals and 105 points in the regular season. Steve Yeiserman had recorded six straight 100 plus point seasons from 1987-88 to 1992-93, but the Detroit Red Wings were never able to string together a deep playoff run. When the Detroit Red Wings hired Scotty Bowman, who forced Yeiserman to change his play style from an offensive minded center to playing a more defensive minded game. At first, Yeiserman and Bowman did not get along, and there were even rumors that Yeiserman had wanted to be traded, but eventually, Yeiserman would turn things around and the rest is history. Yeiserman, Yeiserman turned into one of the league's best defensive forwards and would help turn the Red Wings from a losing franchise into a powerhouse in the Western Conference. After making the commitment to becoming a premier two-way forward, Yeiserman never recorded another 100 plus point season, but his playoff production was much better. He played a crucial role in leading the Red Wings to three Stanley Cups, 1997, 1998, and 2002, and even won a Conn Smythe in 1998. Joe Sackick played a crucial role in leading the Colorado Avalanche, who had just moved from Quebec at the beginning of the 1995-96 season, to two Stanley Cups in 1996 and then again in 2001. While his regular season production was not as impressive as early in his career outside of the 95-96 season and the 2000-2001 season, his playoff production was out of this world. Even though Patrick Waugh won the Conn Smythe in the 1996 playoffs, Sakic led the Avalanche in scoring with 18 goals and 34 points in 22 games. In the 2001 playoff run, Sakic was simply impressive, recording 13 goals and 26 points in 21 games taking home the Consmite Trophy. The 2002 Winter Olympics showcased the impact of both Yeiserman and Sakic on the international stage, as their contributions were integral to Canada's gold medal victory. Their involvement in international play added another dimension to their storied careers and solidified their legacies not only as NHL stars, but also as successful representatives of Team Canada in the global hockey community. Steve Yeiserman and Joe Sakic had a notable on-ice rivalry during their playing careers, particularly in the late 90s. 
The rivalry was intensified by the fact that both players were star setters and captains for their respective franchises. The primary focus of the Yasermin Sakic rivalry was the intense competition between Yasermin's Red Wings and Sakic's Avalanche. While the rivalry can be intense on the ice, it's important to note that both Yasermin and Sakic shared mutual admiration for each other and their legacies are intertwined as two of the greatest players in NHL history. Steve Yasermin retired in 2006, then Joe Sakic retired in 2009, but this was not the last time you would hear about these two in the hockey world. After retirement, Steve Yasermin transitioned into a front office role and later became the GM of the Tampa Bay Lightning, where he played a key role in building the team that won back-to-back -back cups in 2020 and 2021. In 2019, he returned to the Detroit Red Wings as the team's executive, vice president, and general manager. After retiring as a player, Joe Sakic. After retiring as a player, Joe Sakic also would transition into a front office role and would later become the executive vice president of hockey operations for the Colorado Avalanche. Joe Sakic would help turn the Colorado Avalanche from a bottom dwelling team into a Stanley Cup champion in 2022. Both Steve Yazerman and Joe Sakic are celebrated for their skill, leadership, and sportsmanship. Their legacies expand beyond their playing days with successful transitions to management roles, leaving an enviable mark on the NHL.